So we have to bring uh, Sydney and Harry on, so come on. <laughs> come on. Uh, oh no. Ladies and gentlemen, Sydney and Harry, or as they like to say, P and B. But, and, and if you want me to say something about them later, I'll tell you something about them. But anyway, here they are. Thank you very much, Bob. Ladies and gentlemen, I have had a most interesting experience these past two days. And I'm greatly surprised at what I've learned. I came here to observe the project because my interest had been piqued by all I had heard about it. Let me give you an idea of what I have learned as a result of this project. I learned that our lives are value-driven, as are the lives of our children. Yesterday, at the Hallandale School, where I watched the program in action, it took me 30 minutes to get it, and that was with the help of the students. <laughs> they helped to teach me. And that gesture, in turn, caused me to offer a gesture in kind. They wanted off autographs, which I gave readily. But in that moment of exchange, something happened. A breakdown in communication. As I passed them back the paper with the autograph, they would, my hand would go to them and they would take it and they would turn. It happened about 15 times in succession. And all during that period, my mother, who is dead now many years, she kept coming into my mind, almost as if she was saying, you need to do something. And I chose to do something. I did what she did for me that charted my entire course through my life of 68 years. She said to me words I want you never ever to forget. Please and thank you and may I be excused and forgive me for intruding or inter interrupting. So the next child came, I signed the autograph, and I extended it to her. She reached for it, and as she took it to leave, I took it back. And I said, what do you say? She said, oh, Thank you. And I passed her the autograph. I wrote about 40 autographs after that. And each succeeding child heard the preceding child say, thank you, sir. And each succeeding child said, thank you, sir. Now I tell you, that is an example of something I feel quite deeply, which is we expect too little of our children. And we expect too little of our children principally because we expect too little of ourselves. 
That's how it gets to our children. It doesn't get to our children because they reject all our expectations. They don't have a chance to in too many cases because it never gets to them. So when they don't say thank you and please and may I be excused, it hadn't gotten to them often enough. If it gets to them often enough, it sticks. I have six children. Mathematics, that's only five. <laughs> That's what I learned. <laughs> and I have three grandchildren. And my mother reaches from the grave to my grandchildren through their parents and through me. And they say, thank you. And may I be excused? OK. What I learned these past two days is that our children not only can learn, but if you give them the kind of interesting, seductive process, they're eager to learn because there is so much information they don't have. And they cannot negotiate this world in which we live without it. No way. They have to know so much about this world in order to chart their course. As we know, so many of our children don't even get out of the blocks. Because by the time the, the starting pistol goes bang, they've been handicapped. They don't have enough information to begin to do the kind of critical thinking necessary to to say, well, let me see, maybe I'll go this way, maybe I'll go that way. They can't get it out of the air. They get it from us, those of us who can give it. And let me tell you, trust me, most of us can give it. Because those of you sitting in this room wouldn't be here if you hadn't the, the wherewithal to do some critical thinking <coughs> and some planning and to entertain boredom and and discomfort when it was necessary because the pursuit of pleasure isn't a 24 hour a day, 12 months a year situation. Discipline is an essential. Discipline is a concomitant to the pleasure principle. If the pleasure principle becomes so gargantuan that there is no time or patience to do the things that are a little tough and a little hard, we will always turn away from them and head for what, whatever pleasures are beckoning, that are within reach between our children and this multitude of pleasures that keeps distracting them. We've got to stand our ground, parents. We gotta do it, teachers. We gotta, gotta do it. The job is massive, <coughs> massive. You teachers know that. This program is miraculous. I saw it in operation yesterday and today. I saw Mr. Belafonte taught by a 12-year-old. <laughs> Now, as much kidding as goes on between this man and myself, that's spoken in absolute seriousness. A 12-year-old young black child taught Mr. Belafonte the aspect of algebra today that Mr. Belafonte did not know. And this child taught him what it was and how to understand it. This happened, what, two hours ago, an hour and a half ago? This program is remarkable because it is in some of its aspects, it's transferable to other areas. The living experience of our children requires all kinds of input. There are inputs that have to be counterbalanced. And that's the one that comes from the box. 
the box that babysits too many of our kids, is giving them a gigantic amount of useless information. They know, the, they know the basketball scores. They know all kinds of truly useless things. If we talk to them, one-tenth as much as the box talks to them, they will be so damn smart you'd be amazed. <laughs> I would just uh, like to, because I would like Mr. Belafonte to come up and speak to you. He is, as you know, uh, a man who has been very active in, in this area, in the civil rights area, area, for many, many years. His credentials are impeccable. He and I both have been kind of uh, friends and followers of that good sir who created this remarkable program. I'd just like to tell you that uh, I feel somewhat fulfilled having visited with you and your children here in, in this city. I will come back if you'd like. I will. And I will also tell other people what I found here. And what I found here is sending me away from Jackson a better person than when I came. Yeah.